really cheap ammunition versus decent ammunition, like HST, gold dot, stuff like that. I thought I would do a test today with the HST versus something really in inexpensive. And the reason for this test is because I get the same comment quite a bit. It's been increasing recently as well. This exact same comment. I don't use federal HST. I don't use gold dot. Your tests are invalid because I use the cheapest ammunition I can get that's a hollow point and it works just as good. I get that comment quite a bit. So I thought I would test some ammunition that was the cheapest I could find in, in a hollow point versus something that's more standard like a gold dot or HST. And today I got HST, but I went with 124 grain hollow points with both of these here. So the cheapest I could find per round was this Fioki Defense Dynamics. It's a 124 grain standard pressure hollow point and it cost me $27.49 for a 50 round box which equates out to 55 cents a round. Federal HST, the standard price for that is about $30, and I paid $29.99 for that, so we're talking $1.50 a round. So 55 cents versus $1.50. So I thought that I would put that to the test to see, you know, is it really worth it? Now, before I do the ballistic test here, what I wanna say is that even before I do this test, and even if this ammunition right here that performs just as well as the HST, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna still pick the HST, because there's things in this that uh, the other cheap ammo don't have. First thing is nickel plated brass that provides for smooth feeding. We have on the primers and the bullet, we have a sealant. That makes the round waterproof, but also more importantly, it makes the round not set back in the case or creep out. And in fact, I've tried to pull bullets of this nature with the impact bullet puller, just, you know, T testing and researching rounds generally takes somewhere around 10 15 hits with a hammer to pull that out sometimes a lot less sometimes more like three or four hits i tried it with stuff like this with hst before it takes 100 hits with a hammer because that sealant acts as a glue so we don't have you know creep and set back and stuff like that so even if this performs just as well or better i still think this is better because of that sealant and stuff like that so ammo we have a lot different size hollow cavities just different overall. So I'm gonna use the four inch barrel here because that's your most average uh, barrel length to put this to the test in our ballistic test. I have some wood I wanna hit here just to kind of see what we get. I have my five inch pistol out here because I wanna shoot from a little distance. This is a little bit more accurate than my four inch barrel. And I'm gonna go through the chronograph, see what kind of velocity and accuracy I get at the same time. I'm gonna do my 10% clear ballistic test. We have three inches of clear ballistics representing hitting a pectoral muscle and just plain clear ballistics will Hit this plane with no denim, no bone simulation or anything like that to get our best case scenario to see what we get for our ballistic performance. Then I'm going to put on uh, four layers of denim and a quarter inch medium density fiberboard to represent hitting ribs or sternum after three inches of clear ballistics because clear ballistics is about half as dense as flesh. So, you know, this is like an inch and a half of pectoral muscle because this is three inches. And like I said before, I'm going to shoot, I think I'm going to do 75 yards with my MMP just to kind of see what kind of practical accuracy I can get with these rounds. So... Let's get started with this test. All right, I'm about five yards from the target, four yards from the current graph. First up, I'm gonna try the HST. It's rated at 1150 feet per second. And we'll see what we get with this. How close we get to a rated velocity. No read. 1120. 1092. 1090. No read. Let me try to get one more here. 93. So, a low rate of velocity because we were rated at 1150. So, now let's try our Fioki here. See how this does. Rate at 1100. 1101. 1083. 1049. 1083. 1064, so pretty similar velocity between the two of these. So this should be a really fair test of that bullet technology. So let's set our ballistics gel block with these and just see how they do. All right, first up, let's do our federal HST in our best case scenario. No denim to clog that hollow point. Um, no barrier there. So federal HST, see how this does. All right. 1110. Let's try our Fioki here. See how that does. Go take a look. All 
All right, so even though we had similar velocity, our HST went a little bit deeper and both seemed to expand with no barriers or no denim or anything like that in the way. So with our federal HST, we got about 14 and a half inches. Get about 13 and three quarter total penetration with our Fiocchi. So, you know, both of these are doing about the same, about the same amount of damage and all of that. So let's put our more real world simulation in there with our ribs and sternum simulation and our denim and see how they compare. All right, federal HST, four layers of denim, quarter inch medium density fiberboard. See how this does. All right, let's try our Fiocchi now. All right, Fiocchi. See what we get. Let's go take a look. All right, so we are seeing some difference here. We do have a lot of good damage there with our Fiocchi ROM. And overall, that's honestly not too bad. And we went to about 18 inches with our Fiocchi here. But we don't really have any real expansion going on. There's some pedal deformation. Now with our Federal HST, what we got is about 17 and a half inches. And we do have decent expansion, so... Overall, our HST is a little bit more consistent. But, you know, this ammo, the Fiocchi didn't do terribly bad as far as our ballistic test goes. So that's interesting to see that. So let me hit the wood 2x4s here. I just want to see kind of well due to that. And then I'll get to shooting from a little distance with my M&P just to kind of see. Maybe uh, one has more practical accuracy than the other. So let's try that. All right, wood penetration. Federal HST. All right, let me try the Fiocchi now. All right, Fiocchi. Let's go, open that up and take a look. All right, I'll note that I put these rounds right where I wanted them to be, Fiocchi HST. Interesting here, they both went through it looks like. Fiocchi HST. And interesting here, they're both coming out to the same distance. So Fiocchi, here's our HST, interesting. Just poking into the third board, let's take a look at this Fiocchi here. All right, so clogged with wood like you might expect. Pretty decent. There's our HST. All right, it took some work to get out. And with our HST, that's a bonded bullet here. We have a mechanical bond around the base. So it's gonna bond that uh, thick, jacket to that lead core so we don't have that with our Fiocchi and that could come into play with certain things but not really a significant difference other than our HST for whatever reason it actually started to pedal out and expand a little bit but you know we went to the same depth so really no difference here so let me shoot from I'm gonna do 75 yards with my m and because it's my more accurate pistol Kind of see what kind of practical accuracy I can get with these particular rounds. See if there's a difference in quality when it comes to accuracy. All right, 75 yards from the target. Federal HST in my M&P pistol here. I am going to try to do my best. I'm not going to try to be unfair with one of these by shooting one better or one worse. So this might take a little bit of time because I'm really going to try to focus center mass and just see what I can get with these. So federal HST, let's see what I can get with these. Well, <laughs> not a good start.
All right, so it looks like they are consistently hitting just a little bit high of my point of aim. So it's something to note. Now here's our Fiocchi. See how these do. I'll start with the same point of aim, just center mass. <laughs> that was unintentional. I, you know, I'm getting fatigued and I double fold that trigger right there. Somehow I still hit it. All right, so what I'm gonna say here are two things. Um, I was a little bit more fatigued when I was doing the uh, Fiocchi because I get tired fast with my rheumatoid arthritis and stuff like that. Just holding, you know, my joints start to stiffen up. And there was more rounds of this in the magazine than what there were with the HST and I missed two with the Fiocchi and one with the HST, but I'm gonna call that even because of the fatigue and because of the, it was more rounds. So I can't really tell if, you know, the grouping is tighter or not as tight with the one or the other, but overall, just my overview of this is that our accuracy, our hard barrier penetration with this is equal to the HST, at least in this type of testing. Now going through windshields and stuff like that, there probably would be a big difference there because, you know, that bonded, that bonded jacket on the HST is gonna do a little bit better. Our ballistic test performance here very similar, except, yeah, through our hard, harder material with our MDF, we saw that the HST did a little bit better. I know a lot of people would like to say that that MDF is not a valid medium to put in there, but I think it is because I feel like it shows more real world, you know. With our ballistic gel testing, yeah, there might be like a computer simulation where it's, you know, this all takes bone and stuff like that into consideration. So putting a bone simulation in there isn't valid, but... I think in the real world that that doesn't play out. I'm trying to get like real world test here where you're hitting something soft and you're hitting something hard and you're hitting something soft again. And I feel like my MDF simulation is valid because we are seeing differences here. If it wasn't valid, these particular rounds would perform exactly the same to the MDF and they didn't. And what I'm seeing here is that the Fiocchi did good. I'm not gonna lie, it did good. There may be some validity to some ammo with buying cheaper, because you can definitely practice more with the Fiocchi. But if I just had to take a percentage overview here, I'm gonna say what I saw through the hard barrier penetration, not hard barrier, but through the MDF in our gel testing. That particular shot probably did 50% better. And as an overview, you know, the HST probably did 25% better than the Fiocchi. If that's a lot, lot better to you, that might mean something, but Yoki didn't do bad, so not really a definitive answer, but just, you know, we can get a little bit of idea of what's going on with cheap ammo versus inexpensive ammo. So that's what you get today. So as always, comment, share, and like, and thanks for watching.